Hi, Kathy. Hi, Karen. <laughs> I'm so glad we could see each other finally. Me, me too. It's been forever. <laughs> it's been since May. I know. Or maybe like 15 minutes ago. Or oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> since we, we did this like three times in a row. <laughs> Hey, it's our first time, people. Cut it's our slack. first first to Yeah. Well, it's you're an old gonna... hand at it. This is my first time. So. Yeah, but it's going to take us a while to get the kinks out. Since yeah. this is our first official. Yeah. It's a real one. So we need to welcome everybody to Stitching Past My Bedtime. Stitching Past My Bedtime. Yay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and here I am in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It's appropriate. Yeah. So, how did we meet Kathy? We met Karen <laughs> at a retreat. I don't know if you remember or not. <laughs> I told Carolyn Suck today. <laughs> That it was the most pivotal moment, I think, of my life. An event, pivotal event of my life. Meeting me? The, the retreat, yeah. Oh, the I, retreat. Oh, I, I thought met, it was just meeting me. <laughs> well, I met a table full of lovely people, but importantly, I met my bestie, Kathy. And I and, met my new bestie, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> and then Carolyn Zook. Yeah. And then so, everybody at our table, we had Donna. We got to give them a shout out. Donna. Yeah, shout out. Deb. Karen. Yeah. Fran. And Karen and Kathy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we met at the Stitching in the Wild retreat put on by Garon Stitchery, Gary and Ronnie in Fort Lauderdale back in May. And it was the best retreat ever. I it think. Was, it was awesome. It was yeah. so much fun. It was. I didn't want it to end. I could still yeah. be down there, but it's hot. <laughs> it was it was hard. It was hard not to it was hard to leave. I know. Like, want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but what everybody has to understand about Karen and I is that you know you meet some people and then you're like, oh yeah, I kind of like Beef Wellington too. Yeah, me too. But we were like, it was like the most esoteric things possible like what's your favorite town in ireland kilkenny no mine too <laughs> it, it got i the girls at the table were rolling their eyes it, I was, know. Getting, it was getting a little much but we couldn't stop it it just was no. natural it just came <laughs> we just kept finding things in common yeah we did it was awesome we, and now you live in Michigan and I live in Maryland oh, let's start with M Kathy and our yeah. names both start with K they do and we both have pugs I've got one here that wants to say hi oh say hi Teddy no he's just staring at me off I don't have to go get him <laughs> come on you sit right there come on He's got a little tear in his eye. Why are you crying? That's T Ron. Is that T Ronnie? <laughs> There's a little action we don't want to show off here with the Chihuahua and the puppy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a dog mom. We have a bulldog and two pugs and our little abandoned drug house Chihuahua. <laughs> there's there's a story there. I'll tell it some other time. <laughs> they're all adorable yeah, yeah. So we both, i had just gotten a week before my little pug puppy before yeah. the retreat and i asked stanley he is he turned five no he turned six in september and teddy will be two on christmas eve oh so. so cute yeah don't you want to be on there he's just staring at me no so, so yeah. But you can read their mind. <laughs> My daughter used to do that when she was little. I do. I have I have a child. 
Ryan. And I have one child. You yeah, have a daughter. I have a daughter. I have a son. I'm not allowed to mention his name on social media, though. So I'm not allowed to mention. Um, actually, she said that I couldn't say her name either. She strictly forbid me to say her yeah. name. Yeah. But I said, can I say I have a daughter? She said, yes. Yeah. So I hope it doesn't slip. <laughs> but she we have watch no videos anyway. <laughs> we both have no name children. <laughs> we'll just she put up watch paper anyway. bags the next time. <laughs> This is my son. <laughs> uh, just the, the cardboard cutout, but with no painting on it. Just the yeah. cardboard. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we both like to stitch. Yeah, we both love to stitch. And why don't you, because I don't really know what your aesthetic is, like what you like to stitch. So why don't you, oh my gosh, look at him. That's the abandoned drug house dog. Yeah, Rocky. Noah, Rock, Rocky. Well, that calls him Rocky and I call him Bean. So he answers to both. Um, he weighs all of about five pounds. Go, go and assault your brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my aesthetic, my aesthetic, I best describe it as there's been a struggle because it's all it's been all over the place it's I went from the cutesy Lizzie Kate to um Shepherd's Bush I still like Shepherd's Bush um Bent Creek I like Bent Creek but then I started getting into the samplers the reproduction samplers but it has to have something quirky on it but my favorite 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 and you'll see a, a project here in a minute is Madam Chantilly and you know they'll have to just pry those charts right out of my little dead cold hands because if somebody came in and said you have to give up everything but one it would be Madam Chantilly I would not give her up so oh but how many do you have in your stash do you think oh my of her charts at least 15 to 20 I have one that I finished it was a bonus chart, not like I finished the big one. Oh, I have two that I finished. I finished Winter is Coming, and then she had another one. I'll show those. We'll, we'll get to our finished projects in a different video, so you guys have to tune in again. Um, I can't wait. But, uh, you know? <laughs> hmm? I said, I can't wait. I haven't seen them. <laughs> and then I have two whoops in progress of hers, so one you'll see tonight so how many and how many whips do you have going on right now how many whips do i have, I have is that more. is that rude to ask how many no. whips do I, have? I probably I don't, have i actually don't know how many i have oh i'd probably say 50 to 60 to 50 to 60 maybe i am down that number <laughs> That's not too so, bad. Do you have like a plan to like are some closer to finish than others and you're trying to work them off? Or are you just what do you how do you decide what you're gonna stitch? I I tried whip go, I've tried rotations, I tried three-day rotation, which is okay. I don't get bored. Um I I think I'm just more of a I like to start things, I like to switch out the fabrics. And I like to see how it's going to look. And then once I see it, it's like, okay, well, I can move on to the next thing. So, <laughs> although I do have, I do have a lot of finishes, but um, I need you to work on this. finish or do you have an under the bed box? I have a, in my closet, in my happy closet where all the stitchy things reside, I have a box. So... <laughs> I just you waved it. I like, you know where it is. Hmm? You don't have any stitching hanging up in your house? I have, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. In your happy space? Eight pieces. There's a piece in the bathroom too. So. Don't forget about that one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to, uh, and, you know, I'm asking you these questions, but I really don't know the answers. 
which is really odd. I'm going to do this last year, but I have no idea. So what's your favorite fabric count? My favorite uh, 40 count. Uh, linen? Yep, 40 count linen. And you do over two? Yes, I do. <laughs> and so when you do 40 count, you do one strand? Yes. Yep. And you know how to do the loop start with one strand? No. No, I don't. I tried to teach you in Carolyn by a text, but it didn't work. So I told her I would show her in person. So I'll oh, show okay. you tomorrow when we get together next. Okay. It's All really right. neat. And it'll change your life. It'll blow your mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, like that commercial? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's on It's on YouTube. I think um, Karen Needlebug. I learned it from her. Oh, okay. If you just uh, if you just ta uh, search on one strand loop method or something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize you could do it that way. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and it changes. It'll change your life. You can do three strands like that when you have when you have more than. Oh. Or when you're doing a blend, you could do it with a blend. The things you're going to teach me. Your things well you've already taught me so much so much you know you know people let's put it out there you know everybody you know you know all the secrets I know the secrets only because I worked part-time and then sometimes full-time and then part-time and then when she needed me for a friend that owned a cross stitch store and I worked there starting in I think 20 years and she just went out of business this year or she retired so she retired this year and closed up so such a bummer. I know I was there when when uh, she locked up the door for the last time so it was huh. sad yeah so, so. How about, do you have a local LNS near you still no not now. We had stitches and things, and um, which was Deb oh. Coke, and then she retired. And we have one. It's about an hour and a half away from me, south of me, near Detroit. Might even be south of Detroit. And then there's another one that's north that's a couple of hours away. So I've got to go hit those sometime soon. Yeah, road trip. Road trip. Because I like to see fabric in person before I buy it. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's your aesthetic? My aesthetic is I, I, um, so during COVID in the lockdown, I started doing these crafts and making little miniature dollhouse stuff and little scenes and stuff. And then I was watching Rachel Ray on floss tube. I don't know how I got to her. And she was just starting to cross stitch. And then I was cleaning out a room and I found um, I found something I was stitching when my daughter was born. Um, I didn't say her name. And uh, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I could do that. So I just, I started off really big and then I realized I still like little things. So I like to stitch one over one, 28, 32, 36 count. 40 count uh I'm I can do it but I need silks I need like you said you you were explaining to me and I need to still write that down what kind of thread I need to do that <laughs> and then I'll probably do it but that's really expensive but I so I like to stitch little tiny I like to do small because I don't it's just too big and then I like um things that are different I like edgy eclectic detail oriented like anything that's like really detailed I like that um creative something creative um it has to be unique I'm not a sampler stitcher but I have samplers in my stash because the color palette appealed to me or there was a fun border I like things that are challenging I like the puzzle of stitching I don't know do you know what I mean when I say yeah. that like having to figure out how you're going to get over here, you know, and like, oh, okay, I'm going to go do this. Then I'm going to do that. And I'm, I like that, that part of it. I guess that's the process. I like that, but I also like finishing things. So, but not fully finishing. 
<laughs> well, I don't like to fully finish either. That's why there are people who are good at that. And yeah, yeah. they can, they can do that. They can frame, they can sew yeah. it into I don't something. Mind framing. I can frame and I have a whole bin full of frames I've been collecting, but I don't like pillows and stuff like that. I can't do that. Yeah. I haven't tried. We'll see. But that's my aesthetic. So some of my, I like Lola Pro, her, um, her sows, the greenhouse, the haunted library. Fantastic. They were so good. Um, uh, Barbara Anna, like, yep. I, I, and I say this in a nice way, they're weird. I like weird things. Well, I have a lot of hers too. So. Yeah, you like Barbara Anna? <laughs> I love Barbara Anna. And um, I had, I don't know, we'll figure out um, as we're going through our stuff. Um, but yeah, anything that's weird. I'm not a frou-frou person. Not a prim, but I'll stitch prim. If it's a pattern that I like. My friends at um in my Virginia Stitcher friends, uh, shout out to them. <laughs> uh, Sarah, who's also on Floss Tube, Millennial Stitchers, she's really good. She she um let me uh join her on one of her floss tubes when we were at a retreat, and she's so sweet. Anyway, evidently I have an aesthetic, and they all know what it is. So they'll be talking <laughs> about a pattern, and they'll say okay Kara we know this isn't your aesthetic I'm like but I can still appreciate it and I can still think it's pretty it's just not something I would stitch so I don't want anybody to think I, right I don't want to offend anybody but it's just not what I would stitch you know right so it gets to be like I know Karen this isn't your aesthetic but I'm like that's fine I still <laughs> like it yeah. so yeah yeah it's like I still like my Lizzie Cates and she yeah. she had the best Easter bunnies out of anybody um yeah I don't know they that just I you know they make me smile they're, they're just cute so yeah <laughs> they are cute they're whimsical yeah yeah so so um are we gonna how are we what do you want to share do you have any finishes you want to share today or I don't have any finishes today because I was put on the little disabled list because I went on a short business trip and somehow managed to hurt my hand Aww. and it happens to be the same thumb I crushed a few years ago so anyway and it's my stitching hand so I don't want to end up back in thumb therapy because it's kind of embarrassing you see all these people coming in on crutches and their arms and slings and you come walking in and it's like I'm here for my thumb therapy <laughs> and your hand gets put in wax and it gets massaged and you know everybody's sitting there looking at you and then you sit there and you have to like pinch little clips and things and they're all sitting there like you know sweat stripping off of them and everything and I don't want to go through that again so were you able to stitch it all this week no I did I took it off because I don't want I really don't want to mess it up I don't want to mess up the ligament down through here which was messed up when I crushed my thumb in a filing cabinet drawer, no less. But when I tried to get my thumb out, I damaged the ligaments and tendons through here. So it was a fireproof filing cabinet. That's always my thing. It wasn't just like a- Oh, a it was like heavy, one. heavy duty. Yeah, it was a heavy duty one. It, it took two grown men to pull the file cabinet drawer open to get my thumb out. So- Are you screaming? No, I wasn't screaming. I, I thought I was going to get in trouble at work because I swore really loud when it shot. <laughs> oh my God, Kathy. Okay, this was not scripted. We were not going to I know. Be, oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I was on, I was visiting with Carolyn Zook today and I showed her a lot of finishes. Um, I showed her my recent, most recent pug finish. And I think I texted you some pictures of that. So yes. if people want to see that finish, they can watch C Zook Stitch. <laughs> she is awesome. They should be watching her anyway. And yes, they should. Friends are watching us now. <laughs> yeah. We're the comic relief. She's like the friend you sit down and have a cup of tea with. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. We're slamming our hands in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's the 
Well, do you want to go first? Show some uh some whips or new start. Do you have a new start? No. No, I don't have a new start. Do you have any new starts? I do, but you can go first. Well, this was just what I was stitching on. This is um piece of paper behind it. A Madame Chantilly. This is my focus piece right now. And I like it because it's kind of like coloring in. Oh, I can yeah. kind of outline and then just stitch. So mm -hmm. this is called Oak Christmas Tree. And it's stitched on 28 count fabric flare neutral with snowflakes. And um, I'm using the call for DMCs, except for there's going to be, here's what the chart looks like. Oh, that's cute. Santa's in the truck. Yeah. That's really so cute. I'm going to change the tree is going to be steamed broccoli instead of the called for DMC. Because oh trees. I thought you were going to put a big stalk of broccoli. <laughs> I'm weird, but not quite that way. Yeah. I'll take that. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay. So you changed the color green. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> before I messed up my thumb, I was stitching here. So tomorrow, um, when we zoom with Garan, I'll, I'll keep working on my my door, my truck door. So hopefully I'll be able to move to the hood or whatever you call it, where the engine thing goes. Oh, yeah. We're Santa's. <laughs> yeah. And we're Santa's. Um, yeah. What is that? Oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Hook or the cab. The, oh, cab. the cab. Yeah, the cab thing. Yeah, where he sits. <laughs> oh, my dad's going to be upset because he he retired from Chevrolet and he worked in the truck plant. <laughs> oh. What do you call that thing where they sit? I don't know. The hood Did thing. I didn't know. watch this. That's <laughs> Well, I started something yesterday. And I started it because I realized that I actually have a hair appointment on Saturday after Thanksgiving and I don't know when my next one will be. And my hairdresser, I was stitching the the Sugar Skull Mill Hill kit mm -hmm. and he loved it. He's like, can I have it? I love Sugar Skulls. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't but if it. I feel like stitching it again, <laughs> I'll stitch it for you. But I then I saw at the retreat I saw um, this little, okay. Little oh, that's cute. Little, uh, ornament. So I'm going to um, hurry up and stitch it. So I got, I got, I got some progress done. Oh, yes, you do. If you just started that's it yesterday. Like, yeah. For yesterday. Yeah. I'm, that's just stitching. I'm, I do the beads last oh, after the stitching. But what I'm going to do, and I think I talked to you about this. I'm going to, um, so I just developed a new technique because I figured this is paper and it's white. And I, right. don't, I don't necessarily, I want to frame this. So I don't want to cut it into an ornament um, because I, I like little frames, everything. So I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to color the white paper because 18 count, this is 14 count, 18 count perforated paper only comes in white. Right which is a real bummer, but you'll see how I'm doing that on the other things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to color it in and put it in a little frame and give it to him for Christmas and he'll be happy. I've been going to him for like <laughs> longer than I've known him longer than I've known my husband. <laughs> so then I also started Spoopy, <laughs> which you said you're going to do this one too. Yeah, for the... So Nameless son. <laughs> yes, the nameless son. So I always have like a travel stitch on the go so I could take it to work and travel and stitch at work for during lunch. So this is my current travel stitch. Spooky. I love that. Are you gonna make them glow in the dark? I did the, the Arctic lights on that one Santa and glow in the dark and it wasn't fun to stitch with and now oh, okay. I kind of regret it, but I'm not taking it out. Sorry, is that really loud? So here's my no. progress so far. He's a little spooky. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> it's so cute. It's a fun little stitch. And I love this fabric. Let me see. I have it right now. Um, it's on 32 Count Lugana. It's a Fortnite fabric called Old Fashioned. But it's Fortnite, so you probably can't get it anymore. No, but they're it's, gone. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Their their fabric was the best. It was it was really nice. So and then I had one other start, which was um my 2023 Santa, which as you know, I started three times because I couldn't get it right. So this is just the regular 2023. I'm gonna try and do one Santa a year. And I restarted them on this one. Let me get my little hair card. So, and he looks so cute. And his white does popped. look cute. And the color is really um, washed out. That sucks. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, the, the white's really popping off of it. Yeah, it is. I, I didn't write down. I didn't fix the color. What did I say it was? Um, Prairie Land. I think it's Prairie Land. I think it's um, Pictureless Plus. I think. Okay. But if anybody cares and wants to know, I'll put it in. We can put it. I'll, I'll know next time. So that's all my start. Because I'm on a start kick. I can't. I can't stop. And I'm on a Christmas kick. We'll get to that when we... Get to All right. Work. So you showed your whip. Do you have any other whips going on? But you were silent stitching this week. You were just thinking um, stitching. Not really. I I want to focus on that oh Christmas tree because I want to get it done this year. I don't know if I will or not. There's still a lot of stitching to go, and then that tree. Do you so. use Pattern Keeper or Markup XRP, or do you are you? I, I started Markup X xp after the the retreat but i still like my paper patterns a lot because like i'm old <laughs> paper is, i use paper for my travel stitching but if i can get it in markup i will but primitive hair does not scan well no so that's no it's the the color paper and then it's the Too paper big. from Europe is a different size than ours. Oh, is that why it's so big? Yeah. I thought she was just being fancy. Oh, see, no. I learned something else from you. Yeah, because you'll see like A4 and A5. I only uh, know that because the nameless kid went to school for a year in, in um, London and their paper was different size than eight and a half by 10. You know. So. They they go A four A five, they don't have. Oh, like, that's why it's called A four and A five. Yeah, because you could see that when you pick a. Oh, yeah, I that's the size that. of the paper. Well, now I'll look at it and just think, oh, look at my Italian paper. Yeah. Um, whoops! Oh, here comes <laughs> here comes a bulldog storming in. Um, you might be able to set it on your scanner. It might be a choice. I don't know if you scan it in oh. paper sizes, paper size should be, you should have the European sizes on there. Oh, as far as the scan size, maybe. I don't know. I, I hesitate to take it into work. Oh, okay. I have a little teeny tiny scanner here. I'm oh. too big the book at work. Yeah. I don't like no, I don't blame rules. you. I don't like breaking rules. All right. So I have, I have some whips. Okay. Show us your whips. All right. As Stephanie likes to do. All right. Um, the primitive hair. You know this one now. Yes. What was the sow? Because I can never remember the name of the sow. And I screwed it up on Sarah's video. I could not. It was like September 21st, right? Yeah. Earth, wind, and fire. Earth, wind, and fire sow. Yeah. I cannot remember. Yeah. So we started, we worked on this on Earth, wind, and fire day. Yes, we did. With, uh, yes, with EJ. So I'll just show everybody. This is Bridget Cleary and Irish Fairy. And yeah. 
Abby can share the story of her. It's tragic. It is tragic. She had basically the flu and they thought she was possessed by a witch or a fairy. And so her husband and her dad incinerated her either while she was alive or after they had unalived her so um, and you know this is bad i'm not gonna I, i'll i'll take them off next time um i didn't take it off i have my little colleen um little one on here which i love my little voodoo doll you can't even <laughs> see i mean so i started words Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. I finished the fairy. Cool. I think I finished the mushrooms with the lines. Yeah, so I'm on the mushrooms. Over here. So. I have to do the straight stitches. Carolyn was uh, telling me, show, um, explaining to me after our video about how to to tack down your long stitches. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? With a little tiny stitch? Yeah. This is Frankie, I, by the way. I'm Frankie. Right. <laughs> All right. So that's that one. Um, he then, lets me tell his name on, on uh, Floss Tube. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I don't. I'll bring in Sadie next time. All right. So I'm also doing Halloween at Honk Run Hollow. Everybody has seen this one. And you are doing an amazing job because you're, well, I'll let you tell you how you're doing it. Well, we started this with, I started this with the Virginia Stitchers. I, I encouraged them to do a new year, new start last year or this past January. And so there's 12 blocks. If you count the middle block is two and every month you start a new block. And even if you didn't finish the, first block you still move on to the second block so by the end of the year all your blocks are started and some of your blocks are finished but I thought I just thought it would be fun mm -hmm. I think I was the only one that ended up actually doing it that way although my one our one friend is all has finished all her blocks and she's caught up to me on the 11th block and it's gorgeous she's done an amazing job so I'm on the 11th block. I don't know if you're going to be able to see my good ghost. No, you can kind of see him. Oh, you can see it. Good. In your it train. Looks like a little Casper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the trains are not cute. I I enjoy it, but you can see like my half block here. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm doing this one over one. Oh, I didn't say what I was doing the other one. So I'm doing this one over one on 28 Count Lugana. Picture this plus in the color of Legacy with DMC. Yeah. Each of those blocks are like 92 by 92. So they're not big when you do a one over one. <laughs> you got more. Okay, my pile. Now I know what they mean when they say their piles precariously. Um, <laughs> I know. Sorry, I have so many. This is my fun one. And I love, love, love this one. This one was enabled by Gary at Garan when he did his stash. And when he did, he did, yeah, his stash um, three. Yeah, the, tw the 28 day stash review. <laughs> the three, the three parter, six hours <laughs> a piece. <laughs> what a fun. We all, we all a... got suckered into it. <laughs> We all watched it. I know. And then we were all sitting there with our notebook and our pen, Gary, and writing yeah. down. Yeah. And then I bought, I bought this one. Oh, it's blown out. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, okay. There it uh, is. An Elf Baby by Brooks Books. And oh my gosh, it's on perforated paper with beads. It's so cute. I, it, the picture doesn't do it justice is it really um so this is the technique where i'm using a marker i started with inking it but now i'm using the posca markers and it's supposed to be on antique gold perforated paper 14 count but i wanted to use 18 count just because um, oh that is so cute yeah so i'm coloring around it with the marker as i go 
that I yeah. realized in here, the cupcake, it's, um, you can see through it. So I needed to fill that in. That it, really, really it looks cute. so vintagey and I love it. I love it. It's so much fun. It's fun stitch. Okay. And then this one, hopefully my sister Debbie is still watching. And I asked them all if I could use their name. <laughs> They're like, why do you want to use our name? I'm like, because I'm going to use your name. So my sister, Debbie, asked me to stitch this. This is on a Garan tote bag. Tote tin bag. Not a tote Yeah, one bag. of those, too. Not a tote did bag. I, a tote bag. Tote bag, yes. <laughs> the house of Garan tote bags. The house, yes. Currently residing in Alabama. All right. Yeah. So I, um, um, yeah. So my sister, she goes out and she finds, she looks, finds, buys vintage, anything vintage and she resells. Um, so she, um, she asked me, she said, this Bucilla kit is worth more stitched than it is the kit. And I was like, are you kidding me? Because that's what what year was it? Um, nineteen ninety. Oh, you can't tell there, but it's peach. There are peach. It's peach in the terracotta pots. Peach. <laughs> so I said, you might be able to tell from this. She goes, so do you think that it was my first commission piece? Do you think you'd stitch it for me? And I'm like, sure, but it's not gonna. It's a pretty big piece. Uh, it's gonna take me a while. But I'm stitching it with the kit. And uh yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it's it's cute. It's 18 count, so that's not too bad. Um mm -hmm. two over. Yeah. And succulents and cactus and those things are really in style now. So I know. So I'm trying to like work on it. Deb, I'm really trying. So Debbie's shop on Instagram is called Never Random Shop never random so like she's big into things a lot of things just come in your life for a reason mm -hmm. you know and it's it's really cool she finds some really cool stuff um so yes i'm stitching that for her and then she's gonna sell it i think she's gonna <laughs> want to keep it to tell you the truth so i think the last one i have is the birthday sow oh yes which I wanted oh, to show because I'm still stitching on it. I can put mine have yours. Too. Yep. So this we started for my birthday in September. Jeanette Douglas. Mm-hmm. And I am doing it one over one on um on picture this plus 32 count Lugana in the color legacy which is the called for color but i think it asked for 36 and then of course it said to do it over too i misread it someone i i've been saying a, a really generous friend um uh, gave us these uh, the accessory packs with these with all the silks and the beads can i say who that friend was now yeah you can say who it was yeah, you got it for us. <laughs> Because it was the first time I've stitched with silk. <laughs> you ruined me. But look at her. She's she beautiful. Is, she is fantastic. I'm not doing the words. And I'm going to have to figure out a band to put in there. But I don't think I'm doing the satin stitch around. I don't think it needs it. But I'm going to figure out one band to put top and bottom. To fill it looks it up. wonderful. Here's mine. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And so, I'm going to stitch it as it's called for. Oops. I need, I need something behind it. Be nice. I can't wait for us to bring them to Stitching in the Wild and show them all. And all I know. Down. It'll be cool. And I'm stitching mine on 40 count over one over two. Um, fabrics by Stephanie. Um, I believe it's caramel macchiato oh it's really pretty uh, yeah. 
which I'll be stitching, I think, all of them on the same, yeah. same that fabric. The satin stitches that are that cream color will really pop on that. They didn't yeah. really pop on this legacy. That's I need to work on mine some more. Yes, because as I told Carolyn today, um, you have to get stitching on it because you don't get, you still have to start the new one in September. Yeah, I know. Because you'll be. <laughs> we have, we're going to do all six. <laughs> oh. So you want to tell, what are your plans for this week? Are you going to be able to get back to stitching or you still have to give it some time? I'm going to try tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to try Zoom stitching. And um, if people don't know about that, they can go join Garan Stitchery on Facebook. And they have Zoom stitching on most Sundays from noon to five. Central Standard Time. <laughs> I was, I was, I was supposed to, uh, uh, we get on there at one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, and a couple of weeks ago, I packed all up, and I'm like, that's five o'clock. Why is no one else packing up? I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, so it would go to six for us. Yeah. I was getting hungry by six. So oh, yeah. I always get off at five, and I guess they do stitch for another hour. It's fun. Everybody should join. It is it's fun. You know what I, I learned about stitchers? Like, we get along great. And sometimes you will meet that person, as I met Kathy, who really has the same, has a lot of similarities outside of stitching. Sometimes it's just stitching and you should just stick to stitching. Exactly. <laughs> Frankie just decided to uh, crawl underneath the blanket and just knock the, knock my setup. There we go. Oh. <laughs> No, you're just trying to get close. He's he's it's getting cold here in Michigan, so now he's sleeping underneath the blanket. So mm. it's like 26 last night. In the middle of the night, I rolled over and looked. It was 26. Like, well, I guess Thanksgiving is it's... almost here. Oh, by the way, I am wearing Thanksgiving, but <laughs> you are wearing Thanksgiving. You got yeah. turkey on your shirt. Yeah, I got leaves. There's the turkey pie. with the turkey legs. The turkey legs. I got legs. my little thing. Yeah, there's a turkey on here. There's turkey. Turkey. So yeah, thanks to my husband. So every week it'll be something different. You'll have to tune in to see what is Kathy wearing this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna work on. Um, I just I realized when I was getting ready that I haven't worked on my second whip go at all yet and this one joanna my sister joanna look away because this one's for her i'll pull this out next time but this is one of those um in this house that you saw a lot on etsy i don't know if they have them anymore oh okay is a she already knows it's a golden girls um she okay. saw thing so I'm working on this for her. I, I've been doing this since when I first started. I was like, I'm going to stitch all the things for everybody else. And no, I don't want to stitch. This. I still want to stitch it for you, Joe. But and then and then we have our stockings. I'm going to start a stocking for the the Ronnie Sal on December 1st. And I'm going to I'm going to do this one. For, for Sadie, my part. Yeah. And that's through Garan again. No paid sponsorship, but hey. Yeah, that's how, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm going to start this one. As you can see, I've got like a polar bear thing going on. Oh, that one's so cute. They're baby polar bears. Yeah. It's probably dad's in the truck getting the tree for him. Um, and so I'm going to stitch this one, but not with the, the kitted fabric. I swapped it out for a 28 count um, ice blue Lugana instead of the cardboard it came with, which was a piece of <laughs> Ada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it feels like cardboard. Yeah. So, so yeah. I, I have a thing for polar bears, I guess. 
They're cute though. I saw a couple of cute ones when I was They're looking. They're cute. But they are the most dangerous animals in the zoo. So I read that somewhere one time. So because they'll hunt people down just for the fun of it. Really? In yeah. the zoo? Well, if they get out of the zoo, yeah. Oh. But they kill for fun. Okay, you know. It'll Fortunately, be. like humans do sometimes, but you know. So but I love them. They're so cute. And I don't want the polar bears to go away ever. Are they going? Are they in they? I thought with all the climate change and everything, they were worried about the polar bears. So I know the penguins are in trouble. Not the penguins. That's like number two on my list. Yeah, penguins. Penguins and panda bears. <laughs> if I had it to do all over again, I'd be one of those panda nursery people that, you know, that go in and take care of the baby pandas. <laughs> and they end up on YouTube. <laughs> You know those video, the can't live cams that sit there and watch like in zoos. Yeah, all of a sudden you see Kathy like dashing in and out <laughs> live cams with the pandas. Oh my god, that was yeah. Cute. yeah. Gosh, well, we mean it through our first floss tube. Well, are we going to talk about our stash endowment? Did you have oh, any? Shoot. That's right. You have stash. I don't have any stash because I'm trying to be good. Oh, I'm not good. I have stash endowment from <laughs> Citri. <laughs> um, actually, Ronnie messaged me and said I had to make this for uh, Teddy, who's also known as T. Ronnie or T. Ronnie Rex, Theodore Ronnie. So, so our little brindle pug is that was born on um, December 24th. He's named after Ronnie of Garan. Um, because Ronnie was during the lockdown. I won't cry, I won't cry. Floss tube is not for, for criers. Um I, I, don't I didn't know really the story. know. I yeah, I didn't really know Ronnie. I mean, I knew him, I bought their bags. I, you know, they didn't have a shop yet. They were doing the bags and he knew that the nameless son was in New York City during the lockdown and we had made a snap decision to leave him there. And then he's there and we can't get packages to him and he can't get food. It was just, it was awful. But oh Ronnie would send me the sweetest messages and ask me how he was doing and how I was doing and all this other stuff. So I named the pug after him. So, T. Ronnie. So Gosh, he sent me this story. This Aww. is this is from Lindy Stitches. It's brand new. It's called um, "Posing in the Mistletoe," but I have to change them because, as everybody, if you saw his head, um, he's black with um, like silver stripes. He's more brindle. So um, I had this in my stash, which is by Cottage Garden Threads. It's called Hearth. That might work. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got some of the fibers for it. I, I ordered some other blacks that I thought were blacks um, with silver in it, but I don't think they're going to work. I, I got Zach Black and then River Rocks, but I don't think either one of those will work. I think I'll stick with the heart. So that was from Garan. The start then, that one. Hmm? Do you have a plan start date for that one? Um, I gotta see if I've got some fabric for it, okay. which I'm sure I I do somewhere, or I know where I can get some more. And I got <laughs> my um punch needle and primitive stitcher magazine. Oh I love yeah. This magazine. I want to stitch the one on the front. That's by um Teresa Kitten Stitcher, and it's Have That's Yourself cute. a Merry Little Christmas, and That's she cute. dedicated it to her dad who passed away this year. Oh. But I love this magazine. And there's some more. Oops. Some more on the back. It's just chock full of things. So I just like getting it and looking at it. Then I got um, from 
Jasmine Custom Bags. She's on Instagram and has a YouTube, Jasmine Custom Bags. I got an accessory bag because it has fabric that's like Edward Gorey art. Yeah. That's yeah. um who brought the bags for Colleen's. Um I got one at for Stitchy. Oh, it's under the pile. Yeah, her bags are Did nice. You, yeah, with the leather and everything. Yeah, sweater weather. She had she did the bag for sweater weather. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah I says, love her bag. It has dogs on it. Yeah, I'll hold it That's really cute. I'll have what? to pull the line out. But look. I like this one right here. It's like the guy. Oh, how cute. This. And then it has the dog. Oh, I love that. And a panda yeah. bear. But that's like this. gorgeous. I love that. Oh, what is uh, he in the water? Well, he's been eaten by the alligator here. And oh, she's just sitting there like, and now I got to paddle all the way back myself. Oh my god, what fabric line is that? Do you know? I have no idea, but it it reminds me of Edward Gorey artwork, yeah. which um I think opens yeah. up a if you watch PBS on Sunday Night's Mystery Theater, and you see the little people walking through. That's Edward Gorey art. Not that I watch PBS, I watch um, trash TV, according to my husband, but um he watches PBS. And it's got a pretty lining fabric. So. Oh, yeah, I like that. So it, yeah. it, do you have to like stalk her on Instagram when she's going to release bags? Yeah, you do. Kind of. Or she does custom bags too, because a couple of years ago, I got a custom Snoopy bag for my birthday that she made. So, and then my last one is... um sheba designs and she i believe she has an etsy also but it's um sheba de designs.ca she's out of canada just like um um jasmine is and she made bags for um the Mira mirabilia um nora corbett retreat which was held in um charlotte and i didn't get to go um, I was signed up to go and then I didn't get to go, but I love this fabric. That love, is gorgeous. love, love it. That is really pretty. And she put a little tag on here and there's a little maple leaf for Canada. Aww. And then there's a rose. You can oh, see that. Nice. Yeah. And then, um, along with it, oh, it's pretty on the inside. Oh, that's pretty. And I got a little um, ort bed, thread keeper, whatever you want to call it. Oh, nice. I don't have one of those yet. I don't yeah. know how, but I don't. Well, you need you need one. And it's got the little thing to hang down your scissors and your needles. And it's got a cute little tag to remind me that I didn't get to go to the retreat. It says Queen City Stitch Retreat 2023. <laughs> so I can always remember, well... <laughs> loser didn't get nobody to go. needs these things we just want <laughs> these things <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah but i'll always see that nice. loser <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you'll get to go next time yeah yep so so that's my stash endowment sweet it's <laughs> impressive it's good good stuff i i made a i did i did purchase something today so maybe it'll be here by the time we film next <laughs> we film yeah right <laughs> those old cameras <laughs> all right well i think we're gonna wrap it up Yep, covered it all. Okay, well then, I guess we just say good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>